My definition of retirement is nobody should retire. That's a very good question. A lot of people talk about wanting to have financial independence and financial freedom, but most people never understood what those words mean. To me, financial freedom actually refers to four kinds of freedom. The first freedom is what I call money freedom. To have the money to fulfill worthwhile dreams and causes. Secondly, time freedom. What's the point of having money freedom when you don't have the time to be able to enjoy the freedom? You want to be able to have the time to do things that is really purposeful and meaningful. Then the third freedom is what I call lifestyle freedom. The ability to be able to do whatever you want to do, enjoy whatever you enjoy and achieve whatever you achieve. What's the point of having time freedom and money freedom when you cannot enjoy those freedom? And the overarching freedom is what I call contribution freedom or spiritual freedom. What's the point of having money when you cannot do something meaningful with your money? What's the point of having time when you cannot do something purposeful with your time? What's the point of having life when you can make a positive difference on the people and the environment around you? So to me, purposeful freedom is more important than just having financial independence or financial freedom. My definition of retirement is nobody should retire. My definition of retirement is not R-E-T-I-R-E, -E, but R-E-T-Y-R-E. So in other words, it's like a tire of a car. After a while, when the tire is bald, you can rejig the whole tire so that it can run all over again. So my understanding of retirement is not to stop working, uh, to have nothing to do. I think if you want to live a healthy life, three things must happen. You must be able to wake up in the morning and have something to look forward to. You must be able to engage your mind. And thirdly, you must have physical activity. So retirement to me is the phase of your life where you take yourself to a higher level. When you do something meaningful, purposeful and intentional and something that will be impactful to your family members, to your community, to your country and to the world at large. It's starting a new phase to another even better future for yourself. That's a very good question. Let me explain the true meaning of the word wealth. Because everybody wants to be wealthy. But the root word of wealth comes from two basic words, villa and third, which actually means a condition of well-being. To be well or to be wealthy, you know, it's not just about financial well-being. It's about physical well-being, mental well-being, emotional well-being, psychological well-being, social well-being, spiritual well-being, vocational professional well-being, and as well as environmental well-being. So if you look at a holistic sense of what it means to be wealthy or be financially free or financially independent, then I say you can also be an employee. Because an employee can also earn a lot of money and don't have to worry about money and yet find meaning and purpose in their work. You can also be self-employed. Why? Because the trend today is more and more people will be plugged into what's called the gig economy. You're a freelancer, you're a free agent, you're an independent contractor. And they can find meaning and purpose, happiness and fulfillment in their work. You can also be a business owner. And everybody say, I want to be a business owner. But let me just take a contrarian approach. To be a business owner, there are also downside. And for all you know, the downside can also erode or rob you of your well-being. Of course, a lot of people say, I'll be an investor put my money into good assets and then sit back, enjoy the return so they can do what they want to do. But remember this, not many people are successful investors. Not many people have the discipline to train themselves to experience and to go through the downside of what it means to be a good investor. I've coined a new term called investorship or entrevestor. In other words, invest in an asset but manage your asset as if you're an entrepreneur. Manage an asset, but see your asset as an in instrument of investment. There are different perspectives of looking at what it means to be wealthy, what it means to grow an asset. And if you don't let the world put a label on your head or put you in a box, then I think you can break out of the box and think of radical ways to be able to achieve what I've just said just now, money freedom, time freedom, lifestyle freedom, contribution freedom and achieve your purposeful freedom.